What up guys, it's your girl Metameeks and I am back with more Lucifer and if you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm here, you're here. Let's be here together and down below the description box that my link to my Patreon is patreon.com forward slash Metameeks and over there I have clear versions of my YouTube reactions as well as full length timer versions and I'm working on four early access series. Um, on Monday we have, I can't talk, on Mondays we have Lucifer, Tuesday Uncanny Counter, Wednesday The Expanse, Thursday The Rising of the Shield Hero. So if you're looking forward to any of those or if you want to support me on Patreon, you can. It's patreon.com forward slash Manamix or you can use down below the link. It's like a merch bar down below, hopefully, if it's still there, um, where I have my merch. And right now I have on my K-Drum Over Everything shirt. It's my K-Drum. Um, because it's uh, a cozy ass <laughs> crop top sweater. <laughs> Cause it's kind of it's kind of cold down here and yeah but if you want to support me by getting some of my merch it's down below in the merch bar um and it's also on the store tab on my main page but if you also want to support me free because that is an option and that is something i actually prefer because it is free it's just subscribe so please just subscribe it's free it's free 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 free, free, free. so um last time on lucifer what did we we learned a little more about um oh my gosh what's her name oh my gosh i cannot remember the detective's name i just drew a blank i drew a blank i can't remember her name but we learned a little more about the detective uh about how her mother was a famous actress and she tried to follow in her footsteps and her daughter did not know about her movie and how she had an issue with a paparazzi uh who followed her to her father's funeral trying to get pictures like the first set of pictures from uh her father's uh funeral and bereavement and stuff like that and that particular paparazzi was is you know involved in the death of another celebrity's kid because he chased him down for a picture which is what we were told to believe but come to find out through investigations that He's actually very um, remorseful for the fact that he did that to her. And he's been trying to make it up to her ever since or make it up to himself ever since just by being a good guy. And he was taking the fall for that from his protege who wants to be first and took that motto to heart and, and was actually creating situations in which to catch celebrities so he can take the pictures. Um, but this is all the work of Lucifer and her just, just, dancing around trying to figure out and her ex who was actually in charge of the case but knew that something was fishy as well like the more he listened to her the more he was investigating himself he knew that something wasn't right so um he gave it up to her like just gave her enough time to talk to lucifer so they can figure out what to do and eventually they did figure out that this was the kid but lucifer being so confused and so crooks and, and wanting to prove May to prove to Maze that he is still down for the get down was like, you know what? They're not going to punish him fast enough. Let's punish him ourselves. So he took the kid and took the other photographer out of prison or prison out of jail and tried to have a uh, wild west shoot off, but the guns were tampered with and stuff like that. But what we did learn about Lucifer is that Lucifer was bored and he is staying on earth because the detective, he he does not understand, A, why she is resistant to his charms, B, like exactly who she is or what she is. Like why, why can't she do the things that she do, like does with him and why his charms don't work. And he also likes the fact that it's unpredictable. It's bringing back that spice of variety that that he does not have control over. And so he likes it. So he's going to continue to stay and play in the things that he likes, you know what I'm saying? While having sensual relations with the therapist because she enjoys it as well. You know what I'm saying? It's mutual, it's consensual, it's mutual, it's cool. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what this episode is going to bring me from Lucifer. I, I love his character. I love how he portrays Lucifer. And um, M is it Emmendale? Emmendale? Him? I wonder why he is so keen on getting Lucifer back down to hell. Like what's going on? So what is going on? I don't like the threat that he left him with at the, at the end of the last episode, but this is season one, episode three of Lucifer, the would be Prince of Darkness. Okay. I was so confused. I'm like, Star quarterback, number one draft pick, and yet for some inexplicable reason, a virgin. Look, man, I got all the haters I need online, all right? No, 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 I'm not criticizing. I'm fascinated. My agent wanted me to throw this party. Yeah, he wants me to loosen up. 
He's right. I've met your type before, so desperate to control their lives, they forget to enjoy it. So answer me this. If you were to ever, you know, let go, what is it you'd really want to do? Yeah. I want to get laid so damn bad. <laughs> and there it is. You got no idea how hard it is holding out for parents, man. And comfortably hard, I'm sure. <laughs> Come on, Ty, it's the full no. quarter, but you can still win No, this game. don't do it for other reasons. I mean, look at her. Death and tax is a less of a sure thing. Because my mother taught me oh, that. No, don't, always... don't bring her into this, that's disgusting. <laughs> it's about you. No, don't do what it. Do I don't trust it. You know, you know the story. Huh? Something's gonna happen to where it's gonna I be his fault. Idea, my or she's gonna be dead and it's gonna be his fault. I don't, I don't, I have no desire for this storyline right now. The guy who owns Lux? That's me. No, it's not. I've seen him before. His beats are sick. I very much beg your pardon. Beats? Yeah, he performed at a rap battle last week in the valley. That you're pretending to be someone you're not. <laughs> and your accent is fake. No, I'm gonna find out who this person is. Something really bad happened. Well, I hope you enjoyed every minute of it. No, 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 you don't understand. Look, I'm freaking out, okay? Can you just help me, please? I need that favor. Get up, bitch. Right. Who uses that to search, ma'am? Mommy, did daddy forget to pick me up? No, monkey, I'm sure he's just stuck in traffic. Well, I saw Lucifer do some things that I can't explain. Is Lucifer a magician? Oh That's gosh, sort of what I'm you. trying to figure out. When Daddy gets here, maybe he can help. Mm. Sometimes Daddy helps me with my homework. I'm not sure if Daddy has the answers to these questions. Why don't you just ask Lucifer? Because if he's a magician, then he won't reveal his secrets. Decker. Lucifer, how did you even get this number? <laughs> Yeah, so I came down to get some water, and that's, that's when I saw her in the pool. Did you know her? Not before last night. I talked to her for a little bit. Her name was, uh, Allie, maybe? I don't know, I mean, I'm having a hard time remembering. You think she accidentally slipped, fell in the pool, and drowned? No, I think she was murdered. Oh my god, this is terrible. So why didn't you call the police right away? Well, I told Lucifer, he said, he said that he would call the police. And I did. Detective Deck is a homicide detective. She's been very helpful in the other murders that I've encountered. I am not your personal police concierge. Yes. You're not going to find out who did this, aren't you? Yes. Of course I am, because that's my job. Not yes. because you want me to. Yes. Right. <laughs> First things last, do you have any... Oh. <laughs> well, careful that thing in the guest bedroom. It's a good chance to go blind. Unspeakable acts. We got a little carried away. <laughs> Stop interfering. Haven't I proven myself extremely useful at detectiving? Actually, no. I don't need your help color commentating. I need facts and hard evidence. So unless you can help me with either, stay. But I don't want to be stuck out here with these miscreants. These are your people. Mm. Detective! Just open the door. Allie Thornton, 23, from Boise, Idaho. Her info matches the registration we found in the glove box. Detectives found something in the master bedroom. <laughs> I found something in the master bedroom. The way she just walked up her line, she said that shit. Found this here in the bed, and it matches the missing fingernail of the victim. Well, since you banished me outside with the lepers, I decided to make myself useful. You call watching porn on your phone useful? This isn't my phone, detective. I think it's our recently departed. Heard a ringy ding and followed the noise. Now it's delete the little no. rubbish bin. 
We can't delete anything on this phone. But it shows Ty and Ali having sex. It's very distracting. Right. Oh, you've reached the money shot. Are you taping this? You're making a mistake. Stay out of this, Lucifer. Cough him. Wait, what? Ty Huntley, you're under arrest for the murder of Allie Thornton. This is ridiculous. From what, bitch? This is all your fault. I wish I'd never met you. From what? That wasn't even fucking enough! Bitch, that is no. Dog, that's not enough to even arrest him. You can haul him down for questioning, but that's not enough to arrest him unless you got me, something detective. else there, ma'am. Something I else. Know evil. You've arrested the wrong man. The person responsible is still out there. He gets angry and loses control. You saw the video. The only thing that that video proves is that Ty had sex. Thank you. He was horny, not murder. Thank you. Then why would he lie about it? Because he was embarrassed, probably. He had motive. Child, this is the type of bullshit ass police detective work that gets people killed, and then 30 years later they're like, oh, well, we ran the DNA samples and we found out that you did it. I'm good. Can you do your job appropriately? Thank you. Oh my God. Clearly, she was trying to blackmail him for money. Get out of here. Come on, be smart. Be smart. That was the LAPD. Oh, it's Detective Decker calling to apologize. Unless it involves lingerie, I don't accept. Financial investigations unit. And then someone with your name and credit card skipped out on a $2,000 tab. I'd say any way. <laughs> Rap battles and hot wings. You need to find this cheap knockoff and make him suffer. Do you understand? Why? You said it yourself. Humans are fascinating, right? Zany wings. I can't wait to see what this one does next. I would find him and I would break his little fucking neck. <laughs> That's because you're you. I'm me and this is a, a travesty. There might be some displacement. I'll show you displacement when I displace his bollocks and throw them on the floor and stamp on them <laughs> one at a time. Why don't you tell me again about this case you were working on? <laughs> He's talking about stomping on nuts, y'all. Nothing more to say. Cackly. It does. Because from everything you've told me, it sounds like Ty probably had nothing to do with this murder. That he got himself into, or someone helped him into a bad situation. And that bothers you. Why does yes. it bother you? Why? <laughs> Because I punished the guilty, and Ty's not guilty. <laughs> if ever I return to hell, Her your kids nice. will be my first call. <laughs> Especially you. Detective! A word? How did you know to come to this agency? I tried to tell you, Detective, on the dead girl's phone. She called here. here and traded calls with Ty's agency a few hours before she was killed. I know, I checked her phone records. Well, that's what I'm here to find out, and that's why you can go now. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, the fact that you think I'm gonna go. Lucifer, I don't need your help. I'm not trying to solve this for you. Do I'm you? I'm ensuring that the right person is held responsible. You shouldn't have arrested him in the first place. You know how bad Come that on. looks? I've been helpful before. I Child, been I can't. Like, you step out of line one time. You can give I me a right good can't. spanking, I promise. Come on, let's go. But. What happened was, I remembered that the recording was on. Like, you could hear it in the thing and I didn't mean to I forgot to turn it that was my fault we're gonna continue now mm-hmm mm-hmm mm-hmm